go straight to the Mada. Then I'm up in the chopper, hitting the cha cha. Open his Zada, and I'm dancing my cha cha. I'm gonna start off this first. My brother is alive, he's well, he's doing good, he's in great spirits. But this was not for clout, this was not for YouTube, this was not for none of that. Bro, my brother was in a life or death situation and he's alive and he's well. But stop asking me, was this for fake? Was this for YouTube? Whatever, bro, because it's, it's nothing to play about, bro. My brother could have lost his life, bro. But I'm glad that he's okay. I'm glad that he prepared for situations like this. I'm glad he got out of the situation. All prayers to the most high, for real, though. But keep CJ in his prayers, you know, pray for a speedy recovery. But this was not for no games, bro, at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, at all, this was not for, this is not jo a joking matter. So please do not DM me asking me or playing with me because I'm not in the mood. Like, it's not no joking matter, bro. I'm just glad my brother's alive and he's well, you know what I'm saying? All prayers to the most high. It was, man, about the situation that happened, man. I just want to say CJ good. I talked to him. Um, I talked to bro Jinx, his brother Jinx as well. Uh, Everybody cool, man. We cool. I was at the crib. I was knocked out. So I'm good. I appreciate people asking about me. I'm straight. CJ is good. I talked to him multiple times on multiple occasions. He gonna be straight. Just needs a time to heal. So I know, man. Send him y'all prayers. Yeah, bro, be good, man. He back up in no time. As we all know by now, CJ took to his Instagram to announce he was a victim of a home invasion by being shot four times. Um, Anderson police are investigating the tragic incident. Um, I will put the news headlines on this video um no ones was serious seriously injured the two male victim had i mean yes yeah, the two males had got away a lot of people online because i've been you know watching a lot of you know upcoming you know people talking you know different things covering the same thing i am covering um, as I read through their, through their comments, I may say a lot of people are accusing and are making accusation, saying that they feel that royalty boyfriend, current boyfriend, had a big part to play in it. A lot of people feel like royalty as well had a part to play in it. Some people are blaming Lexi, but mm, I don't think so. Um... As well as I heard for now, his brother has spoke up. His brother feel like, you know, it's enough evidence in the pudding because one rapper, which we all know, Royalty Current Boyfriend, had put there to put a rapper in the chair. I mean, to put someone in a weird chair. And he said his brother did got shot four times in parts that could let him into a wheelchair. Um, he said, how do people, you know, it's so hard for someone to get in that gated community or to know where he at because there's only not so many people knows the code and not know so many people know where he live at. And he never disclosed his address whatsoever online. He felt like his brother was target was targeted as well. I mean, my personal opinion through all this situation I feel like this was an inside job, but before I even speak my opinions, I want to say this. My prayers are out to CJ So Cool. We as all may have different opinion on CJ So Cool, but one thing I must say, me as a human, me as a person that has a heart, that has a big heart and a soul, I never will want to wish ill will on nobody or wish harm on anyone i could make i could dislike anyone or i could you know never want to speak to a person but i would never wish ill will on no one or wish bad on no one you understand because i understand that's something you just don't do in a human nature this is someone 
father this is someone's son this is someone's boyfriend this is someone nephew someone friend the list go on he is a somebody he is a human he is the son of the father that we worship god if we worship god y'all whoever created y'all worship he is the son of that person no matter what we go through in life no one should not go to the extent to wish harm on anyone or try to take anyone out this world thinking you are fucking god you understand and if this was an inside job i pray that the person that has part of this be caught because if they're not caught now they could strike him again and the worst case scenario could be potentially life taken away and right now that young man just because people are like oh because he's flaunting his jewelry so much he could flaunt his jewelry he could do whatever he want that's what he paid for that's his money that's his income how he want to spend his money whatever he want to do with his money that's his business if he's not out there harming no one if he's not being an asshole if he's not the list go on yes i always say sometimes he's an asshole sometimes he's a clown but no matter what no one deserves to go through being a target of being killed target of being shot target of being harmed the list go on no one should not go that in deep to take someone life he could do whatever he want with his money and buy whatever he wants. That's his prerogative. You understand? Now, to the person that attempted to take this young man's life away because of your alter ego, because of your self-hate for this man, shame on fucking you. And if it had a female behind it or someone close to him has something to do with this i'm not saying someone could be his baby mama i'm not saying that so don't come around and twist my words allegedly whoever has something to do with this shame on you and your karma is coming back to you what you do in this world you will get back and return you do bad to somebody prepare you're getting it back no one no one gets away with things you do in this world that's why I always say to all the kids that I raise, to my kids, be careful how you treat others. Because the world turns. And as the world turns, your day will come. People will treat you the same way. Or even ten times worse. It's okay to speak your mind, to stay how you feel. It's okay. But to dog people out, to treat people like shit. Be careful. You'll get it back in return, but maybe 10 times harder. I always say, if you don't like someone, stay away from them. Okay? If it gets to the point where you wish ill will on somebody, you're not only wishing ill will on them, you're wishing it back to yourself. You're going to get it right back in return. So the person who did this to CJ, I feel sorry for you because your day is coming where you're going to be caught. Oh, God forbid, same thing you did to him could happen to you. And if this was an inside job, it's very sad and pathetic. Pathetic for a person to do this as well. And to CJ, like I say, and to his family, us from my platform, we wish you a speedy recovery. We wish you take your time. A speedy recovery we also wish you well we also wish you peace harmony blessings you know what I'm saying prosperity good health all that good stuff for you may you come out stronger than you was before may you now be careful of the company you keep around you be careful who you call friends and as well be careful of the partner you pick to sleep with like I say, I'm not saying it's Lexi because I, like I say, I don't think it's her. But we have to be careful with anyone we lay down with. Because we could think if we lay down with the person we love the most, but we may be laying down with the enemy that being be setting us up for failure. We may think that person's our friend. Low key, we turn our back. That person could be plotting on us. And the day and ever we live in, we have to be careful no matter how we step in this world. Because too many snakes in the grass 
that does not reveal themselves until they strike the poison. But as I say, my thoughts and my prayer are with CJ so cool. May our Father in heaven heal him, strengthen him, mold him, anoint his body from head to toe, cover him with his blood, Lord Jesus. Get the blood, Lord Jesus. Get him out for where he's at. Heal him physically, mentally, and emotionally. Give him the strength and give him the willpower to become an even greater man for himself and for his daughter. And that time, in time, in due time, that you may reveal the person who did this to this young man and may he get justice for what they did to him. And like I said, my prayers are with him. And for anyone, and for all my babies, my sugar babies that have follow me on here, that is my family, that are subscribe on here, be careful of who you call friends. Be careful who you surround yourself with. Be careful when you go out night and party or whatever. Always watch your surroundings. Just be careful. Because the world we live in is so wicked. It's so wicked. It's so hard to find genuine good people in this world. Just be careful. But then the update is CJ is doing well. D Lo did came out and talked as well, saying that he, CJ's okay. He just needs time to recover. CJ brother talked as well. I will include all that into the video. But to then, this is the update on CJ. So cool. Unfortunately, he was a target. Targeted. He was targeted for what? What we know. I don't know why he was targeted, but he was. But then again, just keep lifting him in the prayers. If anything changed from here on out, you know, I will come back into my platform and share it with you guys and plus my opinion through it all. But until then, I wish each and every one of you safety, love, peace, light, and blessings. Remember, you are you. You are unique in your own way. Please, my babies, keep an eye out on your surrounding and be careful with the company you keep. And remember, don't the power of the tongue is strong. And what you do out here in this world, what you give out, is what you get back in return. Until then, it's your girl, Queen Rose. And I am out to the next video. They go straight to the Mata, then I'm up in the chopper, hitting the cha cha. Open his tata, then I'm in my tata. They go straight to the Mata, then I'm up in the chopper, hitting the cha cha. Then I'm in his tata.